an unknown bleep on the radar, a glitch in the system, or could it be the most terrifying discovery of our lifetime? As the world watches, the Voyager 1 has detected something massive and unknown while traveling through interstellar space. Every space enthusiast is desperately waiting for the Voyager 1's latest discovery to be unveiled. But hold on, we're about to release the tension and give you exactly what you've been waiting for. There is no spacecraft in the history of space exploration that has traveled deeper in space than NASA's Voyager 1. Launched in 1977, the telescope was sent on a mission to discover Jupiter and Saturn. But after making a string of mysterious discoveries on these two planets, the mission went on. Almost 45 years after its launch, the telescope is still in operation, and the results it is bringing back are far from disappointing. Even though we know what the Voyager is capable of, its latest discovery has shocked everyone in the space community. Did you know what shocking discovery the Voyager 1 had recently done in the deepest parts of the universe? Drop it down in the comments and see if you're correct! We're responding to every single comment dropped in the first 24 hours. So why did NASA launch the Voyager 1? In the early 1960s, NASA had started the groundwork on what was then their biggest project ever. The project was to study the vastness of our universe and eventually doing some groundbreaking discoveries at the planets surrounding our Earth. The Voyager 1 space probe was launched by NASA on September 5, 1977 as part of the Voyager program. Its initial mission was to explore the planets of Jupiter and Saturn, but not so long after the mission had started, the Voyager had accomplished every single one of its goals. After discovering multiple moons of the four outer planets, NASA decided it was time to send the Voyager to some place no human-made object had ever been before – the space between the stars. On August the 25th, 2012, the Voyager had crossed the heliosphere. By doing so, the spacecraft had entered into interstellar space, leaving behind the enormous magnetic bubble encompassing our sun, planets, and solar wind. Since the Voyager had crossed the heliosphere, its mission was rebranded as the Voyager Interstellar Mission. Could this be the place where it found this massive object everyone is talking about? Who knows? Did you know that the Voyager Interstellar Mission has the potential to obtain the most valuable interstellar fields, particles, and waves only until 2025? Let us know in the comments why this is only possible till 2025. So what is it that NASA hopes to discover in the interstellar region? The Voyager's interstellar mission is divided into three distinct phases. The first phase is called the Termination Shock. This defines the phase where the Voyager 1 is actually crossing the boundaries of the solar system. You could say that the solar system extends as far as the influence of the Sun. Essentially, this means that this is the last part where the Voyagers have any influence of the Sun's light, gravity, magnetic field, or solar wind. By passing the termination shock, the telescope slowly flows into the heliosheath phase. The heliosheath is better known as the outer layer of the bubble the Sun blows around an area also known as the heliosphere. This is where the solar wind dramatically slows down and heats up. Due to the high pressure in the heliosheath, the Voyagers had a hard time finding their way into this part of space. Lucky enough for us, the spacecraft was able to fight its way through to bring us some massive discoveries. The latest phase is the place where the magic must happen. The Voyager Interstellar Mission would not be named like this if it did not reach the interstellar region of our universe. On the 25th of August 2012, the Voyager 1 flew beyond the heliopause and entered interstellar space. By doing this, the telescope was the very first man-made object ever reaching so far into space. As this is one of the most undiscovered territories in the universe, the results coming back from it have to be promising, right? But in which phase did the Voyager find this massive object, and what was it that the telescope had really discovered? NASA's Voyager 1 was launched after Voyager 2, but because of a faster route, it exited the asteroid belt earlier than its twin, having overtaken Voyager 2 in the end of 1977. It began its Jovian imaging mission in April of 1978 when it was about 265 million kilometers from the planet. 
images sent back by January of 1979 indicated that Jupiter's atmosphere was more turbulent than during the Pioneer flybys in 1973. In the beginning of 1979, Voyager 1 took a picture every 96 seconds for 100 hours to generate a color time-lapse movie to depict 10 rotations of Jupiter. The result was something which was literally out of this world. Just shortly after, the spacecraft crossed into the Jovian moon system, and in early March, it discovered a thin ring circling Jupiter. But of course, these discoveries are not what you are here for. The greatest and most shocking discovery the Voyager has recently done was in the interstellar region. Almost four and a half decades after launch, and over 14 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 1 still makes discoveries. The spacecraft has picked up traces of interstellar space itself. It was shocking scientists in the field when Voyager 1 had discovered some strange form of an interstellar rain. The plasma-like substance is called HUM. Plasma detection has always been a huge part of the Voyager's mission from the beginning of its launch. The HUM is made up of low-frequency radio waves measuring between 3 to 25 millihertz. These waves are believed to be created by the interaction of magnetic fields, causing fluctuations in the density of particles. Scientists believe these hums can be traced to the Big Bang and could further explain the creation and evolution of galaxies. Massive, if you ask me, what could this possibly mean for science? Can we finally prove the beginning of our existence thanks to the Voyager 1's findings? What we know for sure is that the accidental discoveries of these interstellar hums could change the world as we know it. Scientists can now take records of the interstellar medium between shocks, giving them even more understanding of this outstanding journey. It's a discovery that could speed up our exploration of the cosmos as we now have a better understanding of deep space and how it will affect us humans on Earth. And maybe even other living creatures in the universe.